episode, after arriving at Chesterfield Reef, we explore the islands and dive some pristine coral reefs. First passage, on our own. Ready for a sleep, that's for sure. Do sleep. not, uh, do not like <laughs> night passages. Up for an hour and a half. Oh, get stuck. Truly some of the bluest water. Crystal clear. Off to explore our first island of Chesterfield. The string of 11 uninhabited islands are home to thousands of birds which were not afraid of us and mostly curious, often even trying to land on our heads. So, do you reckon a nice walk along the beach? <laughs> oh, I don't think it's going to be a good one. And tell, tell her about it. And? Plastics everywhere. How far are we out? About 400 miles of land anyway. 800 miles. It was wonderful seeing reef sharks patrolling the beach as it is a sign of a healthy ecosystem. Chesterfield is home to approximately 18 shipwrecks lost mainly during the 1800s, with one ship recorded lost as early as 1789. Nothing. I know. Boys on a treasure hunt here. The name Chesterfield came from a whaling ship lost on this reef system. And there's, and there's no we had applied for a permit requesting permission to visit this unique area three months prior to our arrival. While visiting this island, the French patrol plane flew over. Where does that come from? After returning to our boat, we called them on the radio confirming our boat and crew. These guys were very polite and friendly and it was great to see them protecting this amazing place.
Fly. We'll be able to go and see if we uh, don't lose it. There's a lot of birds. and come out here and we found a bommy just pinnacle in the middle of nowhere so we're just gonna drop anchor we're just preparing to drop it now it's quite deep so we've let out all of our chain so we've got rent full extension nothing left just clip this one as a bit of load off the winch After our snorkel on a large coral bommy, we were keen to have a scuba dive. We head out using an app on our phone that we can place GPS coordinates to help us locate the bommy. Yeah, so I reckon in there there'll be a nice protected little... Alright. Now, put, do your bottom one up. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, there's a bit of a
The sea snakes were very inquisitive and wanted to investigate what we were doing. This snake saw my dive fins and headed straight towards me. I was not as keen to be up close with him as he was with me. Absolutely magnificent beach here. And I'm panning quite fast, this is 180 degrees. Oh, oh. The boat's back here behind us. We'll say it's a beautiful spot here. We're just looking at some fresh turtle tracks. They just wind their way up. What do you think of Chesterfield? Yeah, been good. Different, isn't it? It's a um, hell of a lot of birds. I can't believe how many birds are on these islands. And um, we had a really good um, um, dive today over a really nice bommy. We saw some amazing coral fish, a couple of sharks. Yeah, yeah. good school of sharks on the first little bommy we dive, so it's been beautiful. It's, so, it's pretty cool. So Very nice spot. Yeah. Beautiful weather, sunshine, we've got it all perfect, so yeah. at least the holidays ending. Yeah, yeah, so it's been right. good. And we saw a huge, massive turtle, which um, they must be coming up to nest. Which... Yeah, so it must be coming up tonight to nest, so we're debating if we're coming tonight and see if we can see anything that's disturbing. Okay. Beautiful spot. It was time to clean the hull to make sure we got good boat speed and had no issues with biosecurity when we arrived in Australia.
Under the boat, we found many shells that were home to hermit crabs and a very large horned helmet shell, a type of sea snail. That is a massive, massive shell. It's quite heavy too, it's a few kilos. Mm. Oh, let him go. That's incredible. I got my lead weight, I'll take it to the bottom. Come on, Shelly, take your back. a long way down. Back in the sea. I'm not sure what these are. They have these in the River Murray as fossils, but they're obviously still living. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. Massive. I think the anchor's moved. <laughs> Deeper. Deeper than expected. It's either tides come in or um, it's, it's pulled out and gets, he is, he is swimming, butt naked. After nearly a week exploring, it was time to head back home to Australia. Yes, we've weaved our way out through the uh, myriad of bombies that were there, um, and yeah, we're just slowly motoring towards the entrance now. A 20, because we're going into it. Go to, go to cursor. Now you've got your plot line. Okay, stay on that path and then we'll... We'll be fine. A little bit higher than direct route, but the wind is up higher, so. And we're at our good point, 35 degrees roughly. Oh, we're off. 13 knots of wind, that's nice. 